Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a five star predictions video. It's always really interesting because we're just so sure that the five star book is gonna be like our favorite book ever and then we're just proven wrong and we look like a fool. But I think that this kind of thing is really great right now to make because it's just so full of hope and so full of innocent bookish goodness and then um, you know when it turns out that we're wrong we can all have a laugh together so whether we're right and we find our favorite book that's great or if we're wrong and we look dumb that's also funny so it's a win-win really so without further ado today I'm going to do 10 books which I think are going to be five stars for me personally so the first one on this list is one I've had for a while and I just haven't read it this is The Electric State by Simon Stellenhag and it's following a young girl and her robot as they go on a cross-country road trip because it's a dystopia now and everyone is kind of uh, stuck into the virtual world. So it kind of looks like this. I actually find the art here quite calming because it's all in like blues and dark tones um, as well as there is a storyline. So I'm excited to see what happens. See like there's a story here. But um, I, I thought that this is going to be one of like my new favorite uh, illustrated novels for a while but I'm always scared to pick it up because uh, it was quite expensive and it's also so beautiful and if I end up not liking it I will be really sad to let it go but now now is the time so I'm gonna try to put this into my owls for April and uh, wish me luck next up is the Christmas gift that my husband got me last year and this is soft science by Franny Choi this is a poetry collection all I need to know is Asian rep queer rep and cyborg cephalopod and you pretty much have me plus like this cover is just probably the prettiest one I've seen in a very very long time so I suspect that this will be five stars for me I'm not a huge poetry lover but uh, stands a good chance since the narrator is a cephalopod so so the next one I want to talk about is escaping exodus by Nikki Drayden oh my god this sounds amazing. Basically, people in this world, they live in seafaring beasts, which they hollow out and use as their stellar ships. And that sounds just the best. Um, and then second, the cover is absolutely fantastic. Third, I read The Prey of Gods by Nikki Drayden and her, the imagination was just next level. Um, however, so next level that sometimes it got away from like the plot. So I'm hesitantly putting this on the five star list, like because this is the newer novel, I think that maybe uh, Nikki Drayden's writing could have been tightened or um, more perfected, uh, but I'm nervously anticipating it. I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous. If you've read it, let me know. Uh, I just cannot stop geeking out over this cover. I am such such a cover person. I just, I just can't, you know? It's made for a reason and it's made for us to spend our money and it's so true. I have this on my Kindle. I bought both Prey of the Gods and Escaping Exodus at the same time and so it's been taunting me for my Kindle ever since. Um, taunting, not haunting, but yeah, I'm really excited. So the next book on this list is a book that I don't even know that much about. It's just gotten onto this list because the few reviews I've heard about it, every single one I've been like, ooh, that sounds like perfect for me. And this is Crier's War by Nina Varela. So basically there was this huge war versus, um, Otome versus humans. Otome are like machines, kind of cyborgs, and they won. So now the human kind is subjugated and there are two female one Otome, one human, and they are on opposite sides, but then it's a hate to love. And like, that's all I need to know. And there's so many things. I have a, such a soft spot for like cyborgs, Otome, AI, and humans, and especially sapphic. Like, oh my God, is it sapphic if it's a robot? Hmm, I don't know. Next one is one that I found at, I think it was Target or Big W, which is basically like, kind of some of the cheapest place to get books in Australia. And this is The Binding by Bridget Collins. I had heard about this, but I hadn't seen it in the stores. First off, the cover is just, I am a sleut for a beautiful cover. And this is just amazing. 
I hope that it's like the book uh, that I hated, which was The Starless Sea. I hope it's kind of like that, but you know, way better. Uh, so this is Anne McFarmer is a binder's apprentice. His job is to handcraft beautiful books and within each to capture something unique and extraordinary, a memory. If you have something you want to forget or a secret to hide, you can bind it. You will never have to remember the pain it caused. In a vault under his mentor's workshop, row upon row of books and secrets are meticulously stored and recorded. Then, one day, Emmett makes an astonishing discovery. One of the volumes has his name on it. And I know that this also has queer elements and books and a key and libraries. So I love it so much and I can't wait to read it. So my next five star prediction is Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill. Nikita Gill's poetry collection, uh, Your Heart is the Sea, is um, my second favorite book of the year currently and it blew me away. It's not a book, it's a poetry collection, but you know what I mean. This is um, fairy tales retold through a feminist queer lens, and I'm so ready for it. It's again a poetry collection, but I think that we can all agree that the cover is beautiful, and feminist fairy tales are excellent, and I'm just really, really excited. And because I know that I loved her first poetry collection that I read so much, I have uh, perhaps naively high hopes that this will be as good or better. Also, another book that I picked up from the library that I think is going to blow my freaking socks off uh, is Bunny by Mona Awad. I have wanted to read this for the longest time, ever since uh, Books in Lala, Kayla. She was talking about it and raving about it, and it's about an English uh, master's program where there's this like clicky group of girls that call themselves the bunnies, and this girl like can't get into the group, then she does get into the group, and then there's like dark stuff happening. This is going in my Owl's TBR somewhere, and I just really want it. It says it's like the craft, I think, plus, yeah, I don't know. The craft plus something. The craft plus anything is something I want to read. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to this, and I hope that it has witchy goodness. Um, that's what I think is going to happen. Some sort of cult. Cult or witches. Either one win-win. The next one I want to talk about is The Weight of the Stars by Kate Ankrum. This has been on my list forever since I read The Wicker King by her and really, really loved it. Uh, however, The Weight of Stars is about two girls who live, uh, I believe, in this trailer park at the edge of town, and one girl is all kind of dreaming of the stars and she wants to be an astronaut when she meets this other girl who's new to town and the reason she moved there is because her mom recently went up as an astronaut into space and is communicating with her through signals that she's sending from like the roof of the trailer and that's how they meet and I just I really want to read it so so badly. I can't find it at any local bookstore so it's not at the library and I really want a physical copy because I think I'm gonna love it like that's how much so I don't want to buy it on Kindle because I'm pretty sure I need it physically so um, I mean not physically but like physically. So I really, really, really love this book and or want to love this book. think I'm going to love this book. Kayla, again, at Books and Lala, she read it recently and she loved it. So it just confirms what I already knew, that this is going to be a great book. So the penultimate book is Ailment by Fiona Mosley. Uh, this one caught my eye a while ago because someone in the review said it's similar to My Absolute Darling by Gabriel Talent. Um, this is about uh, a boy named Daniel whose life with Daddy and Kathy has turned menacing and fearful. So they live apart from the house and instead they live in the woods, forage and hunt. Um, so I think it's very much like something bad happens and then they have to live kind of off the grid. They don't trust people and the young boy Daniel is trying to figure out what's happening and why and he also has to learn how to survive. So, oh, the echoes of my absolute darling are strong in this and I hope that that's the case, but we shall see. Also, the cover is really, really pretty. Okay, and the last book on this list is one that I so, 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 so want to read and it is uh, my Darling Rose Gold in the US or The Recovery of Rose Gold in the Australia or the UK. I am the first one at my library to um, put it on hold, so as soon as it comes in I am reading it. Um, but 
it is about a woman who in her childhood she was always sick and then when she grows up a little she realizes that actually her mom was making her sick the whole time Munchausen's by proxy and her mom actually goes to jail for this and we as the book opens her mom is being released from jail and doesn't have anywhere to go and the mom's like hey can I come back into your life because the mom wants to start controlling her again and everyone like her friends other family are like no don't do it your mom's obviously crazy uh, and wants to hurt you and uh, the woman is like no I've got it and in her mind she's like I've been waiting for this day a very long time and I'm like oh, I'm so highly anticipating it sounds dark sounds like I'm gonna love it and I can't wait honestly so all of these books I think are gonna be five stars I'm just gonna say it now even though I know from watching other people's videos that very rarely does that actually happen? Let me know some of your five star predictions for 2020. I would love to hear them down below. Um, I always think five star predictions are so interesting because there's just certain ways that people review books or that their books are blurbed that catch certain people. Like for me, it's like AI, uh, women in space, like queer love, dark children, like, you know, come come at me I will spend my dollars on you so yeah I hope that you guys are all having um, a fab week and if not a fab week a safe healthy week and I will chat to you all in another video soon thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later bye